Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Today is July 30th, 2023. This is the next update on the Supertunia Vista window boxes. Uh, so as you can probably tell, I actually have not yet trimmed them back. The main reason why is they started to really look nice over the last uh, week or two. And then the second reason why is there's been a couple of birds nests in them and I really didn't want to disturb the birds. They just hatched. I figure you just wait for the birds to, you know, leave the nest and then, you know, then you can cut them back. Uh, as you can see, they're gigantic, almost to the point where it looks like you're gonna have to start cutting them with hedge trimmers. Uh, we'll go up here, start on the right side first. So the first one here, uh, even though I trimmed the box hedges back, they've already more than touched them. Gonna have to trim them back or as I said, I'm just gonna have to cut the super tunies back kind of like as a midsummer reset. Uh, they're really, really massive. And again, I, even though I like the color of the black cherry, it's, I would say I would recommend not mixing the colors, like having light and dark colors, because it seems to not make it look like it's as full, even though it really is. And there's the blue skies, it's probably my favorite color. I have the drip system working right now. Haven't been fertilizing for the last two weeks, believe it or not, because I anticipated that I was gonna be cutting everything back, so I decided to stop fertilizing. Um, but I'm gonna start that up again next week because I anticipate by next weekend I should be able to cut them back. So now we'll go over here to the railing, which definitely looks great. Really, really, really filled in. And I noticed that at different, at different times of the day, they look better. It depends on where the sun is in the sky. I noticed they look better in an early sun compared to in a later sun. It just gives them a different glow, if that makes sense. But they are really, really, really massive. I haven't seen too many problems with insects. I don't see any holes in the flowers from, you know, uh, various different types of caterpillars. That's typically what'll happen. You'll have budworms because a moth will lay eggs in here. Caterpillars hatch and then they just eat all the flowers. So everything's looking nice, really full, especially this one here. Take you over here where the little nest is. I'll show you why. I'm not gonna trim them all back yet, but if you have seen in another video, there's some new hatchlings. As you can see, there they are right there with the mouth wide open. <laughs> so I don't want to disturb the birds. I'm gonna leave them alone. And if it takes another week or two, that's fine. Um, another thing that I changed was I started watering a lot more in the last two weeks. I, I guess I wasn't really watering enough. I'm using a drip system, as you can see, it's dripping out right now. And I think I was being a little too on the cautious side with watering, perhaps thinking that I was going to overwater it. And then I remembered, you know, these are super tunias, they're in boxes. They dry out really fast, so you might as well just really, 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 really hose them down. So that's what I'm doing. I pretty much, right now I wake up in the morning and right before I go to work, so let's say like 7.45, I turn on the drip system for an hour, go to work. Sometime around lunch, I'll come home maybe 12, 12.30 and I'll put the system on for like another 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. And then I'll come back home and maybe at around six o'clock, I'll turn it on for another hour. And that seems to be doing the trick. I noticed they were short a lot of flowers in the last video. So I didn't film a video last weekend. I originally thought that I was going to 
be cutting them back last weekend, but did a lot of yard work, which is why the yard is kind of brown. We did a scalp of the Bermuda grass. Um, but these are looking great. These were the ones that were kind of lagging behind, I thought. Uh, and the weird thing about it is, as you come up here, there's just something that with the black cherries right here, they never seemed to really pick up and take off. The flowers were always kind of small. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't know, there's something about this black cherry one over here compared to the other one that you see over there. The one over here, it's like it's a, like its growth has been stunted. So you can see a lot of flowers have kind of just um, rotted away like this right here. Um, but another thing you can see is if you come down here, you see all these weeds growing? That's because I'm always watering right there. So you'll see a bunch of weeds and you won't see as much. Then you see a bunch of weeds and then you see nothing. And that's just from all the fertilizer coming down at it, at it every single time you water. Fertilizer, water is coming down and giving this whole place a great area to, uh, to grow. I mean, and look at this, the super tunias are touching the weeds. I mean, really, it goes to show you just, they just do not stop growing. And again, here's the black cherry which is completely overwhelmed by the, uh, the bubble gums and even, even the, uh, the blue skies is getting overwhelmed by the bubble gums. Remember, there's only one bubble gum in each one of these boxes, only one. And they are completely overtaken by bubble gum. It's just bubble gum mayhem. I mean, look at that. Even when you come back here and you look, if you are in the street, which I showed you earlier, if you're in the street, you cannot you cannot make out any other color besides pink. Maybe over the, maybe here you might. You really can until you look at these, because over here, again you have a black cherry doing really nice right here, and over there you have a blue sky doing nice. But still, the bubble gums are just everywhere, and already I'm learning that next year I'm gonna actually avoid using any bubble gums in these boxes because I really want to see what other colors will do I'd like to add, find some yellow ones use the blue skies again and see if I can have super tunies that complement each other both on color both on color and also growth so one is not just flooding out the other one if that makes sense I mean if you look right here, so there's a blue skies right here that was planted in the in the last part of the box, then a bubble gum. Then somewhere over here is another blue skies, like a whole individual plant, right? And all I can see are these like two or three, maybe five flowers, and then one little thing there. And other than that, the whole plant has been choked out from the bubble gum growth. So as you can see, this is two bubble gums in a 66 inch long window box or railing box. Same thing there, two bubble gums in a 66 inch long box and pretty much have swallowed the whole box. Which again, it's, it's good to learn. So you get, you know, kind of get an idea of, I mean, you could actually take one, this is a 36 inch box, both of these. You could take one bubble gum and put them in each one. You don't need you don't need anything else. That's just how crazy they are. So it's cool to experiment next year. Gonna do something completely different. Probably gonna avoid the bubble gums for sure. Maybe vistas altogether. And just stick with the normal super tunias, which are still great, great, great super tunias. So anyway. I guess that'll be a wrap for this video and that'll be the last video for August. We've been having lots of temperatures in the 90s, so lots of water. It puts lots of stress on the plants, that's for sure. So again, hope you liked the video. I might trim them back next weekend or the weekend after because they're, they're looking really good. So I don't know if I need to trim them yet. But in the meantime, I uh, hope you enjoy it and make sure you tune in next time.
Thank you.